everyone to their places. It's lab cleaning time. Draining the excess fluid from my opto sockets. Hmm. I am fine, really. Honestly, Mr. Edison, Von Bolt was crying. Hmm. He's never cried before. Well, something seems to be wrong. Hello, people. Von Bolt was crying because he's lonely. Impossible. He's got us. But what he hasn't got is. A girlfriend! Ha ha ha! Yeah, right! That's not a stretch at all. Hmm. It's the big story in this issue of Cogsmopolitan. A robot that's unmarried after 500 oil changes might never get married. Let's build a robot girlfriend for Von Bolt. JD, for once, I couldn't agree with you more. We could design her to be totally independent. And have a super inquisitive brain. And speak as many languages as Von Bolt. And have an awesome robot nose. <gasps> what? Robot noses are important too. Those are all nice thoughts, but I'm sure Von Bolt is happy just being a dedicated lab assistant. So put those ideas away and finish with your cleaning. Robot girlfriend? Robot girlfriend! We're almost finished! One inquisitive cybertronic brain! One lyptic lopsual speaker! One independent operational doohickey! And one robot nose! <gasps> it's alive! It's alive! That has a terrific nose! Von Bulls! We have someone for you to meet. Command me to meet, and meet I shall. Let us introduce Kate Thousand. Hello. Hello. Is there anything I can do for you? Scanning. I comprehend you completely so. No. Very good. Auf Wiedersehen. That drink dispenser is intriguing. I can increase its efficiency by 78%. Great. She likes a drink dispenser more than Von Bolt. Well, you programmed her to be independent. And you programmed her to want to learn everything. <sighs> the problem is obvious. Yeah, Kate Thousand is so advanced, she has no interest in him. No. It's Von Bolt! He doesn't know anything about romance. It's a big article in Modern Girlbot. We have to coach him. Von Bolt? Yeah, Miss Nikki. We need you to do something very important for us. I will be pleased to assist. Take Kate Thousand on a date. At once. Would that be a fruit date or number on the calendar date? Ugh, this is not going to be easy. Dr. Flobestein, I want to marry you, but you're a zombie. Well, well, What's more romantic than a zombie flick? Ask her if she likes the movie. Are you enjoying the movie, Fro 9000? Shh. It's exactly like 610 other zombie movies. Shh. And there's a 73% chance he'll turn her into a zombie. Shh. That popcorn is 12 days old. Read her some poetry over coffee. Girls love it. Completed. Boring. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Concluded. Done. 
Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Predictable. Finished. Rough winds to shake the darling buds of May. Ah, for you. <sighs> Analyzing. 21% carbon, 38% hydrogen, 24% oxygen, 10% nitrogen, 7% bee poop. Yes, robot nose. Be nice to her, Von Bolt. I am told you are beautiful. I can only speculate, but... These meat tubes contain horse lips and pig buttocks. Huh? Those two have no chemistry at all. Ah, I have failed at my assignment. Can I ask for your advice, sir? Why? Have you really been crying, old friend? Nein, I just need a minor repair. I was instructed to date Kate Thousand, but it seems we have no chemistry. Is there a chemist I could consult? Perhaps the issue is less chemistry and more animal magnetism. Talk to Carl von Frisch, master of animal behavior. Wunderbar. Sorry to interrupt your dance lessons. No, no. It's my new discovery. Bees communicate through movements, you know. Wiggle, wiggle left, wiggle, wiggle right. It's science. Could science make me more attractive to a female robot? Let us see. Pheromones are the chemical messengers used in the animal kingdom. Queen bee pheromones attract worker bees. Observe. <laughs> Easy there, fellas. Plenty of von Frisch to go around. But, sir, I do not need romantic attention from bees. My friend, pheromones exist all over the animal kingdom. Mammals, insects, synthesize the right one, and you'll be irresistible. Does this mechanical girl have a nose? <gasps> she does have a nose. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What kind of pheromones would appeal to a robot nose? Rhinoceros, antelope, pan African silverback gorilla? I just choose them all. Irresistible. <laughs> Swan boats are the most romantic transportation known to man. And I have brought my own secret weapon. Anyone else smell a zoo that hasn't been cleaned in six years? Do you sense something new about me? Your smell is... Yeah? Not as interesting as this boat's motor. I can improve it by 500%. Miss Rhinoceros and Miss Antelope and Miss Gorilla? Von Bolt! Are you okay? I am sorry. I have failed you. No, we failed you. We wanted to find you a girlfriend. Why in the name of Lederhosen would I want that? We saw you crying. I wasn't crying. Honestly, I am just happy being a dedicated lab assistant. Aww. Perhaps you could help me with Miss Gorilla here? I can assist you. <laughs> I will synthesize a countersent. Go, Robot Nose! And Immels, now you and this robot have no chemistry. Come. 
Are you staying at the zoo, Kate Thousand? Yes, animals are fascinating. There is much for me to research and smell here. Thank you for building me with such an advanced brain and exceptional robot nose. See? I was right about the nose, wasn't I? And thank you, Von Bolt, for being so utterly un 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 uninteresting. Wait, what are you doing? Giving you a refurbished flabber gasket. Your eyes are now fully functional. I think I am in love. Well, they do say that the way to a robot's heart is through his flabbergasket. Says, Says who? Gasket Mechanics Monthly. I read more than romance magazines, you know. Don't go away. There's another episode coming up next. <laughs> if you ever catch a robot crying, Subscribe to Cartoon Channel.